Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number 11 from the International A Level, uh, sorry, Cambridge, February, March 2020, Pure Mathematics P1. This is the 9709 Cambridge syllabus, and here we have a question about trig equations. So here we're asked to solve the equation 3 tan squared x minus 5 tan x minus 2 equals 0 for values of x between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to make sure my calculator is in degree mode. It's in radio mode right now, so I'll change it to degree mode. Okay, so that's ready. And then I'm going to start solving this. So here we see we have something with just one trig ratio, tan squared x, tan x. So it's like something which we can consider like what's called a disguised quadratic. Now you could f try to factorize if it does factorize or solve this quadratic equation um, using the methods that we have um, learned before um, in terms of uh, quadratic formula or completing the square if it doesn't factorize. Um, but some students like to rewrite this in a way that makes it a bit more familiar looking more like a quadratic equation so one of the ways you could do that you notice that this term tan squared x is the square of that term so if we say for example let tan x become u we'll just replace it with u that means u squared is going to be tan squared x remember tan squared x means tan x all squared right so we can replace the tan squared x with u squared and the tan x with u so we end up with 3u squared minus 5u minus 2 equals 0 and that looks a bit more familiar when we're trying to solve this now this is a quadratic equation and we're trying to find two numbers that multiply to give you negative 6u squared and when you add them you get minus 5u so they have to have different signs so it looks like it's going to be um, 6 to 1 because we're going to split the middle term i like to use this way to split the middle term i'm going to call this the 3, the squared term goes there, 3u squared, the constant term goes at this opposite um, square. So these two multiply to give you minus 6u squared, and these two must also multiply to give you minus 6u squared. But the sum of these two must be the same as this, which is minus 5u. So I think you're going to have minus 6u and plus u. Minus 6u and plus u. If you multiply them together, you get negative 6u squared. If you add them, you get minus 5u. So we can see there's a common factor of 3u. I'll write that up here. 3u times 1u is u, 3u times minus 2 is minus 6u, and u times plus 1 is u. So we end up with these two factors, 3u plus 1 times u minus 2 equals 0. So now we can say that if both of these multiply to give you 0, one of them must be 0. So either 3u plus 1 is 0, or u minus 2 is 0 in which case u is going to be minus 1 over 3, subtract 1 divided by 3, and u equals 2. All right, so we have these two values of u, so we know that u is tan x, so we can then write it back in terms of tan x. So tan x equals minus 1 third, and tan x equals 2, and our limits are for x between 0 degrees up to 180 degrees inclusive. So let's take tan x equals minus one third so we're going to put inverse tan of minus one third and that should give us an answer which is minus 18.43 uh, 4349 minus 18 degrees 18 sorry point four three four nine degrees I'm just I'm going to round it in the end to the required degree of accuracy now this this answer is not within our range. Our range is between 0 and 180. However, however, we have to think, is there an answer which we can get from this answer which is within our range? Okay, and there is, because for the tan curve, the, um, the, the next angle which shares the same tan ratio as this is going to be separated from this angle by 180 degrees. The tan curve the angles which share the same ratio are separated by 180 degrees. So if I do minus 18.843, minus 18 point, sorry. If I take this angle, minus 18.4349, 18 
minus 18.4349. And if I add 180 to it, that will give me the next angle, which has the same ratio. So that's going to give me, so if I just add 180 to this, that's going to give me the next angle, and that's going to be in our range, which is 161.565. So 161.565, that angle is in our range. So I'm going to take this as one of our answers, but round it at the end when I write my final answer down. Um, now, the other angle that shares the same um, tan ratio as this is going to be 180 away from this. If you add 180 to that, of course, you're outside of the range. So this is the only angle in our range, okay, from this part. Then we have tan x equals 2. So x is going to be inverse tan of 2. Okay, so I'll just write that down for, so inverse tan of 2. So x is going to be given by, so if we find the angle, so inverse tan of 2. Now that gives us 63.435, 63.435 degrees. Now that's the only angle in our range because if I add 180 to this, it's going to be outside of my range. If I take away 180 from this, it's also going to be outside of my range. So that's the only angle from this in our range. Remember the tan curve looks something like this. That's zero, that's 90 degrees. An asymptote 90 degrees then, that's 180. So and it continues. So we're only looking between 0 and 180. That's what we're focusing on, this region here. So when tan x was 2, we got an angle somewhere over here. When tan x was negative 1 third, um, the calculator gave us this answer, which is called the principal solution. But we use the fact that this angle here is 180 away from that. You can also think of that in terms of the quadrants, like some of you have. If it's a positive angle, then our solutions are going to be in these two quadrants. If it's a negative angle, they're going to be in these two quadrants. So the positive angle we got for this one is going to be somewhere over here. That's my first solution. The next solution is going to be over there. We've gone past 180, so it's out of our range. And for the negative uh, ratio, minus one third, the first angle we got was over here, which is outside of our range because our, our range is between 0 and 180 only. But there's another angle in our range over here which shares the same um, tan ratio, and that's going to be basically this plus 180. All right, and that's how we got those two angles. So those are our answers. And of course, in the end, we should write our answers to one decimal place if the angles are in degrees, unless otherwise stated. And they didn't state anything else. So that's 161.6 degrees. And that's uh, 63.4 degrees. Those are the two solutions within our range for this equation that they gave us. So that's 11 part A. Okay, now for part B, it says find the set of values of k for which 3 tan squared x minus 5 tan x plus k has equal 0, has no solutions. So I'm going gonna, gonna to again, let's call u tan x. And I have 3u squared minus 5u plus k equals 0. All right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to see that this has basically, you know, when there's no value, okay, for u that we can find, when there's no solution to this, okay, that then there'll be no solution to that equation, of course, okay? So this is a quadratic equation. When does a quadratic equation have no solution? Okay, when this doesn't equal zero, that's when you have the what's called the discriminant when you solve a quadratic equation you have you, you uh, if you solve a, a quadratic equation of the form equa a quadratic equation you have ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero then this is the quadratic formula which is given in the formula book minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now when this has no solution is when the discriminant, which is this part under the square root sign, is negative. When that's negative, you'll have no solution, no real answers, because you can't find the square root of a negative number um, and get a real number of solution. So when b squared minus 4ac is negative, then there will be no solution. So we can say when b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, there will be no solution. So basically, we've got to find the value of k, the set of values of k for which this is true, for, where, for which b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. In this case, 
a is the coefficient of the squared term which is 3 b is the coefficient of the term which is not squared which is minus 5 and c is the constant which in this case is what we have to find k so we can say b squared so we have minus 5 squared minus 4 times 3 times k is less than 0 okay that's when this is going to be true so that's that's going to be 25 because it's going to be squared it's going to be positive minus 12k is less than 0 so we can say 25 is less than 12k so divide by 12 you have 25 over 12 is less than k therefore k must be greater than 25 over 12. okay we could also solve this in another way from this stage we could have put minus 12k is less than minus 25 divide both sides by negative 12 when you divide an inequality by negative sign negative number you must change the direction of the inequality sign so that gives you minus 25 over minus 12 which is 25 over 12 of course the same answer okay but that those are the set of values of k for which this will have no solution okay so when this equation cannot be solved or cannot find any u value which satisfies this equation then you will have no solution and that will occur when k is greater than 25 over 12. And now for part C, it says for the equation 3 tan squared x minus 5 tan x plus k equals 0, state the value of k for which there are three solutions in the interval between 0 and 180. Okay, so now, so here we have again um, 3 tan squared x minus 5 tan x plus k. So we want to find the, the value of k for which there are three solutions. Now, we normally, we see a quadratic as having you know one solution one solution or two solutions or zero solutions but because this is a um this is a quadratic equation all right this is a quadratic equation and this is a trig equation we're going to end up with tan x equals something so there could be you know solutions that repeat again and again okay between these values now what i do know is when tan x equals 0 and when tan x equals 180 okay when tan x equals 0 and when tan x equals 180 then you have two solutions okay because we know that the tan curve goes like this and it goes like this okay so those are two places where there's going to be two solutions all right and so state the value of k for which there will be two solutions in interval 0 to 180 okay we want to find where there's going to be three solutions okay so when tan x equals 0 okay then basically that's going to be when k is 0 because if you think about it you have 3 tan squared x minus 5 tan x equals 0 if k equals 0 then you're going to get this situation here in which case tan x will be one of the factors and the other factor will be 3 times tan x minus 5 okay so this is one of this is a case where tan x will equal 0 all right and that that will lead to two solutions which will be when x equals 0 and when x equals 180 those will be two of the solutions which are in our range it's the beginning and the end of our range so those are two solutions. So if k is 0, we'll also end up with this other part of this equation, which is 3 tan x minus 5 equals 0. So we have 3 tan x minus 5 equals 0. So we have tan x equals 5 over 3. So when k is equal to 0, you're going to end up with these two solutions from this part and this solution from that part, and that's going to give you your three solutions. Okay, so the answer is when k equals 0, and this is the situation that's going to occur. And how did we work that out? Because we knew that two of the solutions are going to be here when um, tan x equals 0. And for tan x to equal 0, uh, tan x must be one of the factors of the factorization. And that will only occur when k is equal to 0. Okay, because then you can then uh, write that out like that. And then you have um, two of the angles. So to find the third solution, we've got two of the solutions, the third solution. We're going to say x equals inverse tan of 5 over 3. So we can take that inverse tan of 5 over 3. And that gives us 59.036.
So we have x equals 59.03, um, sorry, 63, 036, sorry. 036 degrees. So therefore our solutions are x equals 0 and 59.0 degrees and 180 degrees. Those are the three solutions when k equals 0, which we are asked to find in this question. Okay, and that concludes this question. Okay, that concludes this question. Where we end up with having three solutions. Okay, that's so you have to think a little bit about that one and understand how the tan curve looks and where it hits zero. So there's a bit more thinking involved with this than the other two questions, but it's perfectly fine. So there we have the answer. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section over here. Other questions from trigonometry, trig equations of P1 from the Cambridge syllabus 9709 can be found over here in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch a video here which describes how you can use my channel to find relevant material that you might be interested in. Thank you for watching and see you soon.